are not your brain works on. For the loved ones, feeling of grief over loss, two obvious examples of emotional responses that are absolutely part of your true self. But what we want to watch out for is just emotional sensations that are easy to misunderstand as part of us when our wise advocate could say, that's not part of your true self. That's not even a true understanding of what's going on. And that's where the interface between mindful awareness and cognitive distortions really comes in. So that's the first question, and we'll give, you in, we'll give you some time in a moment to actually answer that question. So the second question we'd like you to look at is, what are you not doing that you actually would like to be doing? So some examples of those might be eating more healthily, maybe exercising more often, spending more time with friends or loved ones, Meditating to learn how to notice your thoughts and soothe yourself. Or telling people in a loving way, obviously, what you think or what you need. When you are ready, close your eyes. Imagine yourself warm and safe in a womb. No ears, no mouth, no brain, no eyes, an unborn babe, knowing nothing, doing nothing, just breathe. believe that you are your brain um, they want to say look you have no free will at all you're essentially just determined by your brain you think you're getting a desire to move your finger but that's all just caused by a brain signal it's being caused by things your brain are doing you know, a, a, a meaningful period of time before you get the desire so that desire isn't you that desire is just your brain my understanding of what you said is that most of us have negative um, understandings of ourselves. That, uh, if they're bothersome enough, are worth doing something about it. Tea and check my email and pay my bills, and I don't understand what it is that, why am I avoiding that thing that when I'm there, I love it more than you. What emotion did I have when I was pre verbal that I would like to undo? I mean, I have no words for oh, it. You're out there, you can swim, now's the time. Swim. <laughs> 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 you know, so I mean, so you can see why it's called refocus. In, in that way, it's an incredibly good example of refocus with progressive mindfulness because you're going, this feeling of anxiety is telling me I'm going to drown, but I am not going to drown. I am going to swim. swim. swim.